the question I get asked is where do you find such, whatever the word is, uh, strength for lack of a better word? There's a lot better words you might choose like cruel or whatever. <laughs> um, you know, with Lydia, let's say, I don't share her beliefs, you know, one would hope. I wouldn't. Um, however, you know, when you're going to play a character, you, you, you stay away from judgment. You have to, don't you? Because it's like a relationship. So if you go in saying, you know what, you are the worst, there's no, there's no uh, back and forth. So, And you'll find no weakness in her either. You'll find no vulnerability. To well, that's it. Perform. You won't find the complete person. You'll only find the one you judge. So I was raised, uh, I went to school with Catholic sisters all of my, my, my first 10 years of education. And uh, I always hesitate to bring that up because nuns get a raw deal. You know, you think of the one with the ruler and they're going to knock you out and this and that. I did not have that experience. I have two aunts who are sisters as well. But what they share, I would say, with Lydia is an absolute um, devotion to the work they've been given. I, I think Lydia is all in in terms of the Bible. And uh, I think, you know, when someone is that attached to such a narrow way of looking at the world... Uh, and repression is the only way to control it. You've got to imagine some damage somewhere. I, I don't know how you arrive at such, uh, if you've get, been given a fair shot at life, let us say. But she loves those girls. I said to Bruce Miller, who is our showrunner, you know, what do you think she did before Gilead? And he said she was probably a teacher. Made so much sense. Her whole life are the girls. She goes home to her dorm room. That's it. Uh, she knows that if she does not get that job done, if they don't realize this is what is expected of you and you had better get it, they're not going to survive. I think the challenge for her is that, of course, she becomes attached in a way. You think of Janine, you know, the girl who says, dares to say fuck to her in, a, in the course of a 10 seconds. You know, that episode, she's just been pulled off the street. And Lydia realizes, oh, we're going to have to make an example here. She's not going to get it. And she's not going to live. She continues along. So it was paying attention to um, the part of her that I could relate to, which is full attention to the job at hand. I used to have experiences with one nun in particular who used to haunt me. You know, my job was to sweep the classroom. And then I'd sweep it and I'd go down to basketball practice. She would come straight down, come out, never harsh in the language, come, come back up. You didn't do the job. Do it right. Do it again. Do it again. And I used to think, what in the world? Uh, and I, I despised her. I thought, I cannot wait to somehow, you know, let loose on her. <laughs> and she'd say, you're not going to basketball practice. You're not getting the point here. Well, all year long, I wanted to take her in. But thankfully, at the end, I realized, oh, my goodness. She taught me something so important, which is you are no different from anyone else. You're not special. You have a job to do. Do it. And when it's done, then go about your business. Now, if you take away Lydia's ideology, but you give her that dynamic, then you've got to weigh in. Meaning, my job is to make sure you understand that I can teach you something that enhances the, the meaning in your life. Uh, and so I just, and so that doesn't answer your question at all, because I don't know the answer about casting directors or why they would, you know, I can tell you I'm thrilled about it. Um, it gives you a lot to chew on as an actress. It really imagine. does. And Patty, I'll never get over that experience as long as I live. Um, because I never knew where she was going or what was happening. 